How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Relevant Podcast. JC and Matt here. And What's up, guys? We're drinking. We're going to say it right off the bat. Bit. We're we're having a little Saturday night soiree. Yeah. You sound so depressed about it. I'm, I'm happy. You don't sound happy. I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? He's happy like that. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're chilling. We're chilling. It's yeah. a good time. Um, we have had about an hour convo about what to have on the show tonight yeah, as a topic. If there's anything I'm annoyed at, it's the fact that we don't know what the topic is for this one. So we're just going to wing it and see where it goes. Yeah. But it's a Saturday. It's been a long week. I appreciate everybody watching all the episodes of the podcast. As always, to everybody listening on Spotify or on audio only, you guys can check out the video podcast, see what is happening in this episode. It's going to be probably a doozy. But. It's going to be... Uh, a shit show, probably. Yeah, you might title it that, actually. Uh, yeah, Maybe. we might. It, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm, I plan to drink this and another White Claw during the, the course of this show. This one down here. Um, our girlfriends are here as well in the audience. I don't know why they're... Why are y'all just sitting in the audience? They may come on. They may not. Don't know. I'm calling them out. We're going to find out. The, well, you'll find out as well as, as this goes I don't know what's along. happening. I don't either. But that's that's why we're dubbing this the shit show, because we're kind of just go, going full improv. Okay, right? something we need to talk about right off the bat, and I'm just going to say it. Apparently, I didn't know this was happening, but I've talked to Jess about this, uh, Matt's girlfriend, and w she wanted a cat for the longest time. Yes. And this week, me and Em are just like scrolling on social media, <laughs> and all of a sudden we see that you guys have a kitten. Yes. It's here. It is here. I don't know if we can find it. That sounds really bad. She She's <laughs> scared. She's a scaredy cat right now. But, but y'all have a kitten. She's adorable, though. She's so fluffy. And her name is? Her name's Marley. Marley. Yeah. Marley. She's a, she, we call her a slinky because she kind of like crouches and walks around because she's trying to be really quiet because she's scared. Yeah. Like we, uh, before the podcast was going on, we have a, uh, we had like a little moment where we were all trying to like say hi to her, but she's just <laughs> hiding under, underneath the bed. We're all just like, we all look like the, the pet. <laughs> we all look like animals. We're like laying down, just like really really try, like marley please please say hi to us and marley's just sitting underneath the bed in the yeah. exact middle yep like looking around and she, you can just tell she has no idea why we're all staring yeah. at her that's pretty funny poor thing but but she's so cute like she's the cute cutest thing ever hopefully she'll get a little more accustomed to being here and yeah be willing to come out and say hi to visitors you know what's really funny yeah. Do you remember a couple of podcast episodes ago when we had a discussion about cats cat versus dog. dogs and you I have said a cat. dog. I well, said dog and we that? have a cat. Well, it's not my cat. It's Jess's cat. Let, yeah, let but that you be let clear. it happen. Yeah, but what am I going to say? No, you can't have your own cat. I can't say that. I, I said I'd prefer to wait for an animal. I think it's a little early. I still want to travel a lot and it's harder to do that with an animal. Well, but do you think, it, do you think it's going to be hard to have a kitten? <clears throat> like what, what have you experienced so far? It's no. been what, like three days? Yeah. What no, is? it's not, it's been one day. Literally one it's day. It's only been one day? Yeah. Oh my God. It's been one day. And I was up all night last night <laughs> because the cat was meowing. She's She's been fine all day. Hasn't said a word all day, but all night last night, for some reason, she's just meowing at everything. I wake up in the middle of the night. It's like 3 a.m. I look down. She's staring at me meowing. <laughs> I'm like, what do you want you from she me? she wants food? What do you, I, we fed her. We fed her food. <laughs> it's just laying out there. She ate it. I, I don't know. And I, at some point during the middle of the night, I feel like crawling on my back. She made it on the bed, but then she kept getting kept getting off the bed. I don't know what she wanted. Yeah, we were talking about this a little bit too. What's up with kittens and the fact that uh, maybe puppies do this too? I don't know. I've never had a puppy before, but when I was in college, my roommate uh, shout out to my my boy Tanner. He was like two or three years older than me. He was just like when I was a freshman, he was a senior, mm -hmm. and he wanted to get a kitten his last year, and he got this kitten, named it Henry. 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 And my favorite thing, honestly, was that Henry at a lot of times felt more like my little kitten than Tanner's. Oh, no. Because Tanner would get so upset at night at like 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. And I was I would stay up late because I'm like editing right. videos or whatever. And I would hear the cat like just messing around in his room, just like <laughs> jumping everywhere because they're, apparently they're just super hyper at night for some reason. Okay. I think it's true with Great. Marley too. That's, I didn't know that. Okay. I don't. Maybe it's some. I don't know. But... Uh, Henry was just jumping over and over, like off and off his bed. And I just remember him just going like, Henry, go outside. I'm done. I'm done. Just go, go back in the living room. And then I was like, Oh, Henry, come to my room, come to my room. Like he won't know. And Henry comes to my room. And I remember just like being a, like trying to get in bed to sleep. 
and this cat jumping literally off and on the bed over and over. It's like this little tiny thing and just goes and then just sits there for a second, jumps down. I'm talking like three or four seconds, jumps back down wow. then jumps back up. Yeah, that about, sounds about right. Does about 20 times and then just runs around, like just having a blast with nothing. So per, be prepared for that. Basically is what I'm saying. It's going to keep no, That's thing. great. I, I hope Henry's tonight goes better, but she's adorable. Um, but I'm a cat person though. So I know. I'm really excited for you. I love that. Well, you know, maybe if we go uh, on a trip, uh, maybe you'll watch her for us if you want. Oh, they both just looked at each other like, Oh my oh, God. Yes. Marley. There you go, Jess. <laughs> you have someone who wants to watch your cat already. Um, so but cats, yeah, I mean, cats are easier to go on trips with though. Cause if you only go for a couple, like a couple yeah, days, yeah, you could get it. You could get it. We've done that before. Maybe like, I don't I, have a kitten though. Uh, mm. no, I mean, by the time we're probably going to go somewhere, it'll yeah she'll be she's got to get used to the By place time covid's early or over like yeah. marley's gonna be just a grown adult yeah <laughs> i mean we had cats uh when i was growing up and our one cat was an outdoor cat i mean i would see her i'd be like driving down main street like yeah. five six miles away from our house see my cat just walking down the street straight up she was a savage she was she let we left her out for a full week one time came back no problem that's so she's wild nuts see i never really had outdoor cats ever I don't They're know how wild. Uh, it's impressive. For people listening to the podcast, everybody, write down in the comments like what kind of cat for, for our cat owners out there, like outdoor cat or indoor cat. Like, mostly, what's the best play? Got to be mostly indoor. I, I would say mostly indoor too, but I there I've seen it happen a bunch where people like love having yeah, because, like an outdoor. Yeah, cat. yeah. It, it's I'm just like, like it's scared like a trust of their safety. Yeah, though. you're you're scared for them being safe and them coming yeah. back and. But you know, once they become an outdoor cat and they come back and they know how to like f survive. It's really a good thing for them. Yeah. It's a lot healthier, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, and they get to like roam. Like, oh, yeah. They get way more exercise. Yeah, they more get their instinct and all their instincts of hunting and stuff like that. Oh, I'm so excited. I love cats, bro. This week you come back and it's even longer. Dude, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to be real. I really wanted to shave it. And then M's like, don't. And I'm like, what? Really? Bro, if you grew it all the way out, would it, be, would it get like, like long? I don't know. I've never done that. You should, I mean, you got to try now, right? But people said on the last podcast, people wrote in the comments, like, JC looks like a lumberjack. You do. I look like I'm. You look uh, like, you look like you're like a, <laughs> like getting into character for a movie. <laughs> what, what's the, what's the word? Is it 10 four? No. Four. Wait. 10 four. What? What is the word? Okay. What's the word when people chop down a tree? There isn't a word. Four? Is it four? That's when you're golfing. That's like golf. No, no. When so, when a tree is about to fall down, there's a word that people say. What is oh, that word? God, I don't know. That's a uh, word. Look out. Uh, no, no, uh, no. Uh, timber. Timber. There it is. Timber. You, you yeah, never timber, heard of timber. Like, catch the song. Timber. It's going down. I'm yelling timber. timber. You better move. <laughs> you better dance. dance. <laughs> Let's make the net. Okay. See? Can you tell they're drinking alcohol? Hey, man. Cheers to that. It's cheers like, to Kesha. Like, cheers what? to Timber. Here we Boom. go. There, there it is. <laughs> cheers to Timber. I see. I, I knew I wasn't dumb. So not Tim got four. Dude. Tim four. <laughs> ten four. That's close. I mean, you had the right syllables in there. Right? Sounds, ten four is like oh ten four. Like it's like a police thing, right? I think it was like, like a five zero. Oh, like, like, hell yeah. Ten four. Uh, roger that. Roger that. Yeah. See, I these words mean we, something. Dude, we're on we're on the same page right now. I feel it. Think of the same word at the same time. All right, ready? Okay. I think of a word. Ready? Okay. Well, what? No, name a subject first. Okay. And name a subject. M, give us a subject. Politics. Okay. Great. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Joe Trump. Biden. Okay. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was so opposite, bro. No, no. Okay, fine. Give us another. You should come into the podcast so they can actually hear you. TV shows. All right. She said TV shows. Okay. okay so we're a name the first TV show that comes to mind. Yep. It already came. I okay. Mean, okay. This moment's passed. Three. Three, two, one. Breaking lost. Bad. Okay, wow. Well, you said we, lost. Yeah, I said lost. <gasps> he knew that would be the first time. I thought. I thought. I like. I this, the minute she said TV show, I was like, okay, lost. Dude, this done. is like this shows how much we care about each other because you said lost. You know, you're and right. I said Breaking. You know, bad. you're right. You're you know right. You like Breaking Bad. You're right. Damn, bro. Well, I mean, we were completely <laughs> off, but <laughs> okay, I got one. Okay, okay. All right, fine. colors. Okay. All right, first word that comes to mind with colors, all right? Uh, yeah, I already thought of it. All right, I mean, one, I can't change it two, now. three, blue. Orange, okay. Orange? Yeah. Those are opposite on the colors. Yo, that's my school right, colors. how many more opposite can we get? Auburn. No, 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 no. Orange, orange and blue. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. <laughs> this is like when you look up like on your horoscope your compatibility with one another. You're trying to figure out if you guys Our horoscope? Bro, give us our horoscopes right now. Because we are, we are on the exact opposite. Okay. I'm, I'm Scorpio. 
I don't know if that's opposite. Do, okay, we need to get M inside the podcast. M, come on the need, podcast here. Okay, read us our we horoscopes. We don't know what we're doing. Because they're going to be. I guarantee you, they're going to be exact okay, opposites moving. today. Moving over. Whatever our horoscopes are today, they're going to be exact opposites <laughs> because we have been unbelievably opposite so far. <laughs> Dude, I feel like a, I'm like a lonely island over here. <laughs> All right, uh, which you may or may not. But it's interesting because I'm curious to know if you guys are like creatively, maybe you are totally compatible, but like in like relationships, maybe Yo you wouldn't kiss? be. Maybe you're maybe. like meant to be in a relationship. <laughs> Yo, kiss. Wait, so I'm a Libra. You're a can, Libra. Can you what look, are you, Scorpio? Can you look this up? Yeah. All right, let's see. Do you guys know anything about your horoscopes? From, no, I no mean, knowledge from me. I just know that my horoscope is generally very sexual. That's that's a mood. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Dude. Sex demons. Oh. That's what I'm saying, dog. Yeah. <laughs> what is, all right. So I'm a Libra. You're you're a Scorpio. Scorpio. So okay. What does that actually look like? A scorpion. I think so. Okay. So what's a Libra? Was that an animal? Lion. I could be. No, that's Leo. That's what's Leo. Libra? Oh, dude, I know nothing about this. Yeah. I know. You're asking the wrong guy. What, what's a? This is an intense couple in every way, and their sexual relationship is something truly exciting and challenging at the same time. Wait, this is Libra and Scorpio. Yeah. This is me and Matt. That's you and Matt. Oh. Libra is not represented by any animal. It's okay. Yeah, you can just be the lumberjack. You got the beard ready. We're the lumberjacks. Libra okay. lumberjacks. Libra lumberjacks. That's a, that's my mascot. Okay, so we're we're, we're what sexually challenging and exciting. Yes. Okay. You're exciting but challenging because you have animalistic nature. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Libras are, they have a quick and superficial element of air and Scorpios have the emotional and slow element of water. What does that mean? <laughs> what is that? I'm like are water, you baby. Do you, do you flow? Like I flow like water. Cheers so, to that. So am I like, am I supposed to be like lightweight? Like I'm like. This is interesting. The pull of your energies is extremely strong and makes you both obsessive and possessive towards one another. Is there something you'd like to say to me and Jess? Is there some jealousy between you two? Wait, me? you guys want to be together? Is that what I'm trying to figure out right now? I mean, we started a podcast together. That yeah, counts for something. I mean, we don't have a podcast together. You guys don't have a podcast. Podcast together. partners. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, it's real. If a Scorpio cannot trust someone, it is a Libra. Wait. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Oh, no. Wait, no, no. We're no, compatible, no. but we're not? Apparently, you're sexually compatible, but trust See, is a, I little, told you. a little scary. Okay. Um,. You, yeah, you got some trust issues. There's nothing Scorpio can say that Libra won't be able to rationalize, though. Their communication is the exact place where the connection of Libra to Saturn comes in handy. It's interesting. Apparently, Scorpios are very impulsive, and Libras have to kind of deal with that. Is that accurate? Bitcoin? <laughs> yes, it I mean, is. Arguably, I guess you could say, yeah. Like, like you see the Bitcoin drop, and you just go, boom, I'm putting more in. But, yep. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, fair. Um, in many cases, love won't happen. Uh, that's Aww. very unfortunate. That's really sad. <laughs> no yo kiss. Yeah, no. But maybe it makes it like stronger when it does happen. No yo. Oh, this is a quote. When a spark exists between them, it will easily build up to a fire, burning entire cities, forests, and everyone on its way, including both of them. This Wait. is a very, very <laughs> conflicting it's relationship it's here. Drama. Wait, so... Maybe that's why we're. It's in basically podcast just giving like every yeah. every every aspect of the relationship, so that one of them has to be right. You both value consistency and commitment, and this is something that will connect them in the first place. Huh. Very true. Hey, I mean that's true. I mean we're doing a podcast every week, and you said we couldn't. That's true. But we're doing it. Look at us. Look at us. Look at Who us. Who would have thought? If there's an activity you must share all the time, it's not podcasting. What is, what it? is it? Uh. Wait, is it say that? Yeah. What's the activity you guys would share all the time? What do you think uh, it is? I. Uh, I don't know. I Honestly, couldn't tell you. Like, like the obvious answer should be gaming. Yeah, but I can't say is, that it is would it be not gaming. I can't say what that it would it? be sex. sex. <laughs> I knew it, dude. I said the first thing I said about my horoscope was sex, <laughs> I mean, and I knew that's it. That's kind of like gaming, right? The Scorpio will awaken the yeah, animalistic absolutely. side of the Libra. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, what? Say that again. The Scorpio will awaken the animalistic side of the Libra. So you, I turn you on. <laughs> This I is, think that's what that translates. That's, I, I mean, that's, that's what I'm here. I'm that's hearing. That is. Wait, I, this is the thing that I'm getting from this though. Is no offense to anybody who's like really into this stuff, but yeah. I feel like there's so much varying. Like, oh, it might go this way, it might be that way. That there's always going to be something that actually does fit. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. For everyone. No, I think you nailed it. 
Yeah. I think you nailed it. That is interesting, though. It says for work, though, um, it can create amazing balance needed in any workplace. Artistry and music are a big pull, but anything that can be worked on with a partner can bring great rewards. As a Libra, loves being in a group or partner setting. That is so true. That's so true for me. That is so true. Yo, that's actually spot on. Yeah. That's also a team that naturally is perfect for detective work. Escape rooms. Bro, we got. <laughs> we need to get back to the escape rooms. Dude. Your problem solving skills are incredible and you complement each other in a way that other signs can't come close to. This is very hey, accurate. Man. Well, mostly we're compatible, it sounds like. You sound pretty Sp compatible. Specifically in the sexual arena. <laughs> but hey, I'm really whatever. <laughs> it's interesting. I'm, I am thrilled about that. <laughs> Let me tell you. You guys went to look at places to move yes. into together. Yeah. Is that true? Yes. Yeah, we actually did that today. We, yes. we're thinking about the potential idea because also rent is so expensive in LA, especially where I am right now. And we talked about this a little bit before like finance and stuff, but we've been thinking about, okay, what if we could live in a apartment that is like a two bedroom as a couple though? So that way, like, you know, like one room could be- uh, uh, He sleeps in one room and I sleep in the other. Yes. Yeah, sure. that's what that's that's what I figured. You Absolutely. know, just got to keep separated before marriage and everything. I was like going to explain yeah. some things, but sure, that works. Yeah, too. you get two twin beds. You know, you get <laughs> yeah, one yeah. side of the room. Exactly. You get like the other the side old of the room. Sitcoms. Yeah. Yeah. You can hold hands across. You know, across the room. <laughs> we just touch our hands to the wall. Like, that's about it. Once lights are out, <laughs> we like talk through the vents. <laughs> We hey, have like cups. Good night, Em. <laughs> <laughs> you, have a, you have a cup and a long wire going to another room. Oh, that's yeah, kind of cute. Yeah, we should do that. No, we're not. Okay. Doing so, that. You, how long have you guys been dating for? Going on six. Yeah, but the, the idea would be not th for this summer. Would, this would not happen until like a year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Basically. It'd be summer because that's when his lease is up. That's when things probably are going to start getting back to normal. We'll probably be going to the yeah, office. Yeah, we, we were thinking about the fact of like, okay. We spent a lot of time together already, uh, a lot. Like she basically, the, like literally you and her and Jess, are like basically the only people I see in my life right now. So, and and, and every time we hang out, it's so, it, it takes so much effort every time. And not only that, it's just like, there's not a lot of room at my place and I'm, I'm paying so much for it right now to be in a one bedroom. So either I need to get a roommate or I need to figure out a way to like drop my rent price yeah. a lot yeah. uh, because LA is just crazy. Again, like living in California, you like people do say it's expensive. It really is expensive. Like yes. I promise you, anybody is listening. Like it's, it's really nuts to make it work out here. So I feel like it's, I feel inclined to live earlier with somebody than I probably normally would somewhere else right. just because it would save, um, not only because it'd be awesome, but like, yeah, not just for the it's, money. I'm sorry. Don't it sounds like a win-win. It does sound like You're going to save yeah. money. No, it actually And is. you guys hang out a lot together anyway. You guys yeah. are at each other's houses a lot anyway, yeah. it sounds like. So instead of having to drive all that distance, you might as well try living together now and see how it goes. Yeah, yeah and the uh, the idea too would be to get enough room where as well. Like right now, my entire setup, like streaming and everything, is in the living room. Yeah, I know. And... Oh man, yeah, you, you helped me set it up. And you could you just, could almost like f make a burger while you're streaming. No, he does. Yeah, no, I basically he did do. Last I did. night. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. I mean, that there it is. Yeah. Which, that, which <laughs> to be valid. fair, that's a very cool thing to be able to do. I mean, but at the same yeah. time, when anybody walks into my like yeah. my apartment, they're, they're up just in like, your, what is going on in here? Yeah. Like, it just looks like they're up in your business right away. Yeah. And yeah. also, when I back up my chair, it just hits the couch. And it's just annoying. There's not yeah. a lot of space. So what I really want to do is get like a real, like I want to get an office room. I want to have an office room where it can be separated yeah. from the living room, separated from the bedroom, separated from the bathrooms. Like I want it to just be a separate little right. like, office den and have my own little like space in there. It kind of feels like stuff. college almost a little bit, right? When you have all your setup and all your stuff in the same room yeah. more or less. Oh my God, I hate that feeling. I don't know if you feel the same way, but like, I, ever, ever since college, I've like always wanted to like, I don't want to like downgrade to like. Yeah, I, feel what you, I see what you're saying. Yeah, like it's like, oh, I moved somewhere. I don't want it to feel like less, like I have less room than the right. place before. Yeah. I definitely right. downgraded this time. <laughs> definitely. You downgraded. picked location over um, yeah. like luxury, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Although your place is not, it's not, your place is nice. I mean, yeah. your building is nice, but you picked location and location in, in LA is 
through the roof expensive. Yeah. So you have to sacrifice a little bit of space in that one. Yeah, there was a place we were looking at today. It had no washer and dryer in the unit. It was literally just like a laundry. You guys seem like that's like a like a wild. Dude, that's thing. wild to me. Oh, it's uh, no. I, a, I don't think it's you crazy for LA, but this it, place was almost four thousand dollars a month. Well, I mean, that's a little bit ridiculous. It's but, a little ridiculous. Oh no! And the thing is, they didn't say it was that much. But when we got there, they're like, "Oh yeah, actually, these yeah. are the prices." By the way, you don't even have a washer or dryer, and we're like in the unit. You know, we're like, we Yo. immediately knew. Yeah. That's rough. They're yeah, not gonna find many renters probably. M, M yeah. gave me like this little side eye, like because we're like we're, we're like, wearing we're wearing like a mask and everything to check out. It was like a, these places, right. and I just looked at like her eyes just went wide when she saw that and, and heard that, and I was like, oh no. I sound so spoiled, but it's just like that's a lot of money to be paying. That's a for lot. For not a washer and dryer of your own. Yeah. Yeah, it's just if if you don't know, like in LA, it's just rent prices are like insane based on where you are um and this one happened to be in like a nicer part of la but it wasn't like the best apartment in the entire world it was really small it was really small it's dang it just it was crazy it was really weird there must yeah. be some reason it's so expensive either you guys are the, or that or the landlords are just like reaching for the stars i think I they know. honestly might be but there weren't that many people there when we were walking through too so honestly it could have just been like nobody's renting yeah from maybe there. maybe there's a lot of specials going on though right now because of obviously like covid but that place didn't have any sort of special. Yeah, no, think. they didn't. Yeah. But it, it's it been interesting because I, yeah, I think, like, that's the plan in my head of, of like, maybe, like, a year from now, like, ask me on the podcast, like, how I feel, I guess, about it. But I think. <laughs> what? Nothing. No, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be all right. What? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just saying how, how awkward <laughs> would it be, like, you know, if, like, you guys like, moving together sucks. and it didn't work. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I know. That's why it's been like a, we're well, looking early. The, the thing that I told her, I'm like, we're, we're like, we're, we're preparing for the idea. But we're not like a hundred percent yet. No, we're not signing papers or even applying no. or anything. It's mainly no. just like what areas, he doesn't know LA at all. Right. So this is mainly a tour of like, do you like this area? Do you feel comfortable here? Yeah. Would you pay this much for this area? What, like literally one of the complexes we're looking at is just near a bunch of like the places we liked to go to, like bars and restaurants and stuff. Right. Just cause like saving Uber costs, you know, that was just, that's a thought. So it's literally just yeah. like looking for, to look, right? Yeah. And yeah. So. But it is a little scared of the idea of like, our relationship is still very new. Yeah. Oh yeah. So. That's why it's like nothing is set in stone. Yeah. But I, it's, I, I think it's like one of those things where we, we, we've talked about it a lot and we're like, it, it we just have to feel very, very right. It already does feel right, but we like whenever that time comes, which is like still a while away. Yeah. Right. It's still like half a year away. Yeah, like <laughs> half a year or something like that away. Yeah. But whenever that time comes, I we I feel confident we make the right decision. Of whether like even if we get to like two months out and one of us is like, this is hey, I don't right. know if we should do it. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. If that happens. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but, that's good as long as you're on the same page. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it makes sense. You're gonna save money, and you guys are already hanging out a lot anyway. That's like, if you think you yeah. could already see it working, then, and it's going to save you that much time and money, it's yeah. probably worth giving it a shot. Yeah. yeah. We'll right? See. Like, if you're playing the long game anyway, what's the, you know, what's the point in waiting, I guess, yeah. at this point? Yeah. And we're talking a lot about, like, financing on here, so I'm like, man, I got to figure out a way to cut costs, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we haven't Uber Eats in, like, three weeks. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's we, been painful. Dude, the, the grill, bro. Oh, it's oh my <laughs> God. Apparently, Matt, oh, no. after the last episode, we talked about the air fryer. Dude, I he got, got one. one. I got one. Well, Jess and I got one. Yeah, I, I, so I just funny. used it today for the first time. I made some chicken. It was good. It was it was a lot easier to make. It was like so low maintenance. I just put the chicken on there and slide it in, and, and, you then, leave it. and then that's it. Yeah, and but then the Jess grill, does the rest for me. So the one <laughs> we <laughs> Jess, the one we have is a grill and air fryer in one. He like told it's one me, thing, yeah. and it's literally amazing. Like it's so good because you can't have grills in LA. In most places, like on a in an apartment. I saw place. someone comment on the last episode of the podcast, and they're like, "Like, yeah, guys, honestly, I'm like 17, and I got one right now, and it's the <laughs> best thing I've ever seen." I'm like, "Dude, he's getting in on it early. The air fryer life, bro. It's he's like an Bitcoin. early adopter. Invest like, early. <laughs> like that dude. guy is 17, but he's honestly like 23. Actually, dude. dude, there you go. Get in on the early investment. Truly, yeah. The air fryer." Or Bitcoin, both are good. How you feeling? How you feeling about Bitcoin right now? Good, dude. Um, I don't know if this was. I think last time we recorded, we were like pretty high, right? Yeah, like thirty eight thousand or it something. Was to 40, yeah, uh. yeah. So since then, uh, a couple of days ago, it pulled back real hard, like thirty percent. You said last time we recorded, we were pretty high, and I went. Oh yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> the the price like, of Bitcoin was pretty high. To clarify for our audio listeners who may not have figured that one out. <laughs> 
We, I, I don't smoke. Out. I've actually never smoked in my life. I know that about both of you. Which is I crazy. Still, like, got caught off guard for a second. It's totally legal here, by the way. So yeah. it would be fine if we did, <laughs> but I have never done it personally. Yeah, I, I don't do it. Anyway, but I do invest in Bitcoin. So uh, <laughs> I don't do that, but <laughs> when the numbers go high, <laughs> when the numbers <laughs> drop, I'm in. No, it, it, it pulled back 30%. We were waiting for this for like, it felt like, I think it's been months. What I've heard is that it's good. It's very happened. good. It is, I would almost say critical that it pulled back like that because- Because if it kept skyrocketing, it might Yeah, just then crash. it's like really, then it's like really, you don't really know what we're gonna get. Yeah. But because it came back and like stopped at a certain point, right? And people started buying it again at a certain point, that's good because then it's like, they call it support. It's yeah. like, okay, people believe that it's worth at least this much and it's it's been verified more than once because the prices come back to this point and, and come back up again, you know? Gotcha. So it's a good thing. It's a really good thing. And if you got in at that point, I think it's a great thing, you know? So. Dude, I'm hyped. I'm hyped too, bro. I recorded my first ever finance video yesterday. Oh my God, you were talking about that. So you're it, actually doing it. I am so excited. Aww. I don't remember the last <laughs> time I was this excited about making videos. Dude, oh, that's great. it's so crazy to say that. Like, look at this. I look sighed, at the smile. I sighed. <laughs> the only other time I felt like that is this podcast. Oh, really? Compatibility, dude. Compatibility. You felt the sexual energy. Yeah. The sexual energy. Okay, podcast. I don't know if it's sexual, but like you know, it's there. <laughs> something. There's something that could be there. <laughs> no, I'm I'm excited because it's something I really like. I I really enjoy doing. So, dude, that's I'm like awesome. yo, and it's like I I I can see the video ideas already. The thing that you can do with that too is because the numbers change literally every day you could make content all the time you could mm -hmm. you could I, it's, it's more than just the numbers too like there's yeah. news that comes out there's things that change like you're yeah. always in changing your investments and in, in, in your it's, portfolio it's such the ultimate thing of people want to constantly know what's the update what's right. the update what's right. the update what's the update and if you're like on top of it oh, oh be dude. A lot of fun. Like, i think the content is is always going to be there for this yeah. kind of thing yeah. like, it's never going to run out and it's never going to get old it's always going to be something new but I just like, I'm really, really excited about it Do already. It. So like making content on it and I can see what the content is. It's such a great thing. Do it. Cause there's I'm, a lot of I'm channels so where I'm like, I don't really know what to do. I don't really know what to post. I don't know what to make. I don't yeah. know what's going to do well. I don't know what I actually love to do that will also do well. This is easy. It's like, I don't even care if it does well to start because I know eventually it will. Cause That's, people need oh. this. Yeah. This is important stuff. Honestly, I feel like people have been losing a lot of like uh, motivation for YouTube lately, like just in the community and like honestly in the whole entire space. So it's like great to see that like, you know, there's still like ideas like going around, like everyone else can get the same amount of inspiration yeah. you do out of nowhere, you know? Just happens, dude. You gotta try a lot of things for, for one thing to be like, okay, this actually makes a lot of sense and it's yeah. it's where it's gonna work. And I, I haven't posted a single video. It could flop miserably for a while. Do you think it's gonna be on your main channel right now? So I, I, I'm starting, Reddit for you is now money for you. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's called Money for You. That's a good name. I, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> the, the, like the, I, the slogan yeah. I've come up with is like, we're gonna help you have your money make money for you. Oh, I love it's that. It's like passive income, right? Yeah. So like how to have your money earning money while you're not working. I it's so that. important, it's so important. Dude, I've been, ever since we started talking about it on the podcast, I've done so much more research lately. Yeah. I even have my own little like, altcoins and stuff that I've been like thinking about. Yes. And I'm like, I think this, maybe there's something here. Dude, tell, tell him. The other day I get a text from this guy. He's like, yo, how do you feel about this altcoin called Cardano ADA? Yeah, Card Cardano ADA. ADA. I just like the name too. And I was like, so I was like, all right, let me check it out. So I watched this guy's videos and I'm like, yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw some money in there. <laughs> <laughs> I was convinced it, immediately. It's like this, it's like, it's basically, something that I think some people think might be like a competitor to Ethereum or something. Yeah. Um, there's a lot more to it, but it gets really technical. But I was looking at that one, it's like at 30 cents. Right now it's like up 20%. Yeah. And you can't even like buy it on most. On most uh, platforms right yeah. now. But the, that like, it's just kind of fun to just find like these little, it's fun to like find these projects in the crypto stuff and mm -hmm. just actually go, huh. This might be something really, really interesting. And there's like all these, it's almost like communities around yes. these coins. And people are like, I was telling you, like there's, I went, like, I found like the Cardano Reddit or something. <laughs> and people were like, Cardano is the way. We will not lose. Like, like there's people, when, when the whole like dip happened with Bitcoin, uh, like a couple of days ago, yeah. maybe a week ago, uh, a bunch of people at Cardano, like the community or whatever was just like, oh, don't worry. 
We knew this would happen, and we will hold on to our Cardano forever. <laughs> it's just like these, these guys are just on another level like, of dude. like believing in this coin. The hodlers, and yeah, yeah, basically. And I don't know. I, I maybe that's one to look out for. Do your own research. Maybe. We are not financial advisors. There you go. That's very important. Almost every. It's so funny too. Every financial video that you see on YouTube, you got to make sure to say that. It's very important because. Do you really? You, is that a legal thing? Oh yeah. Yeah. Really? Oh, it's like critically important wow. because if you're not a certified financial advisor you, you're not supposed to be giving financial advice yeah. see people like me don't even know like the least amount the, about this stuff so if your yeah. channel is about like for people like me who know yeah. literally nothing i feel like that would just pop off like people would love that well i mean at the end of the day like you know you you can watch any youtube channel and they're going to tell you what they think no matter what like yeah. and some will be right some will but be there's wrong there's a lot of clickbait out there that is oh true. of course there's yeah. a ton of clickbait but there are also a lot of channels that have been deadly accurate with what they're what they've predicted and what they're talking about, mm -hmm. which is crazy because at the end of the day, no one can really predict anything. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can you can have educated guesses and and be close and be really successful, but mm -hmm. it could it could do anything. It, it Bitcoin, Bitcoin could go to zero tomorrow. I could yeah. be you know we could all be totally wrong. Will it happen? I doubt it. <laughs> oh, but. but it could. I want to know, like, is it like the same as the stock market? Where is like, if something like an event happens in the media or the country, like, it's things similar. Happen, is it? It's in, it's in ways it's similar. That's the only yeah. thing I've ever wanted to know about that is like, is it like pretty similar along that trend of like the stock? Yeah. Market? I mean, ultimately you buy like X amount of however much of, of Bitcoin you want. And then mm -hmm. if the price, like the value of it goes up, you can sell it and you make money on it. Sim like with a stock, yeah. but there's, it's also different because it's a currency. Mm -hmm. It's not like a company. Like if you bought Tesla, Tesla's a company. You can see how much money they're making, what yeah. new things, like what new cars they have coming out. And like, you can kind of base your value on that. Mm -hmm. Like what the company's doing, Crypto's what they're like earning. Gold, almost. Crypto is like, yeah, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a hard bill. asset. It's yeah. like, yeah. it's a, it's a form of currency yeah. that we've made into a currency. Like gold, we, we made gold a currency. Yeah. Humanity did. Really? Yeah. Is like it, like it wasn't just like, is it still a currency? Like back, well, like back people, in the, a lot of people think that you should have gold. A lot of people oh. think that, right? Well, See, now because because the it's because the dollar is like going down in value. Yeah. Like, but yeah. but we made gold what gold is. Like, we could have made anything that. Yeah. Like, we could have made like a glass. Yeah. The the currency. That's yeah. true. Like back in the day, I'm pretty sure they had like stones and gems yeah. as a currency. But yeah. it's like okay, well, like, like you know, there's diamonds. reason that it's not good. Minecraft diamonds. Dude, there you go. Like they even had like food was a currency at one point. Food, yeah, food. But is it's terrible huge. because you can eat it, and then it's like, like <laughs> well, if you eat the currency, Yo, then it's honestly, useless. That's my currency. Yo, it's food, bro. Like Skittles. Yo, grilled yeah. shrimp. Oh, <laughs> grilled <laughs> shrimp. Yeah, is if you had a currency that was food, what would it be? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> grilled shrimp, dude. Bubba Gump would be crushing it right now. <laughs> okay, they'd be loaded Yo, if grilled shrimp was the world currency. Honestly, not a bad idea. There's an entire Bubba Gump sub community. It's like grilled shrimp is the way. Is the way <laughs> we will hold Bubba Gump for life. <laughs> we will imagine it just becomes super rare, like tomorrow, like it's almost extinct. That's that's what I'm saying. It could happen. Hey. That's basically what Bitcoin is. That's a good analogy for that. It literally um, is just super rare now. It, well, it, that, that's like why it's even more. People think that people that believe in Bitcoin are like even more hype on it is because there's a, a finite amount. Yeah, gold even there's. I mean, it's scarce, right? Yeah. Like, it's hard to find gold. But we don't know how much gold there is. You catch me, like, mining. There gold. could be, like, there could be a shit ton of gold somewhere that no one's found yet. And, yeah. like, yeah. when they find it, like, they're instant billionaires, you know? Like, yeah. you don't know. So, apparently, I, I don't know if this is true or not, but I heard that, I can't tell if it was a joke or if it was real. I feel like it's real. Um, I think it was the Winklevoss twins talking about this. That Elon Musk is going to go into space and mine gold out of the asteroids. <laughs> That sounds fake. That sounds like an onion I, title. Honestly, dude, I feel like it could. I think that <laughs> might be real. It might be a real thing. Just like the fact that it's like the Winklevoss well, twins. I'm like, are they even still? There's a lot of there's a lot of like science. Oh, they're they're stuff. multi billionaires now off of Bitcoin. Oh really? They're like oh Bitcoin they're loaded. Guys? Oh yeah, they're loaded. What? I thought you know they just Gemini. Sued. You yeah. know the platform they don't they they made Gemini. Oh my god! I thought they were just rich by suing. <laughs> no no no. They made like they made like forty five mil off that case. Like nothing. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 nothing yeah, yeah. Dude, they're worth like I don't even know how much now. They 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 bought oh a ton of Bitcoin back in 2012. Oh, they're probably worth and they're so loaded. Much. I mean, they bought it at like I forget like ten or twelve dollars. Yeah, <laughs> oh, they're loaded. They're absolutely. I mean, they, they, one of the bigger platforms right now in the U.S. is they own it. They made it. Yeah, Gemini. I was Gemini is that, the yeah. Winklevoss twins company. I'm like, my mind is blown. Do you have any more like fun facts? I'm like so curious. I was telling you guys before, 20% of all Bitcoin ever is completely lost already. 
like 100 It's 20 you didn't say 20 percent. 140 billion dollars worth of bitcoin is somewhere <laughs> in a landfill like I'm it's just, just sitting it's just this. sitting on like a hard drive in one hand. like a hard <laughs> drive or a U, like a usb or like a flop not a floppy but like you know like a usb like an old-fashioned like usb stick pickaxe in one hand dude you, USB if you find the that and you can access the the thing is you need to know the key for it if you are somehow able to access that bitcoin i mean there's there's billions of dollars just sitting there that is so funny does it expire does no. it go back into the nope. pot ever no nope. it it is there for life but he, that's like oh you, you you see these articles about people not knowing their code, like their yeah. key phrase to get their Bitcoin. Yeah. And like they have millions of dollars on this stick and they can't access it because they yeah. don't remember their code. <laughs> that is a big And you can't rip. do forgot your password. It's like, no. does not work. And you get a certain amount of tries too. It's like, there's like articles like this guy's got true tries left to figure out his code. And he's like, blowing his brain <laughs> out. Just like, what was the code? Fluffy cat 89 <laughs> turbo. No, no, that's not it. Fluffy dog. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it like a phrase or is it like a password? It's whatever you want. To Honestly, I haven't gone. I actually don't even know. I'm pretty sure it's just like whatever key phrase you want it to be. But usually, it's that like it's like sucks. a string of random letters and number. Like you want it to be as yeah. abstract as uh, abstract as possible. Yeah, yeah. Dude. The idea is that you're supposed to write it down or, or like physically have a copy of it somewhere and hide it, like in a safe or like somewhere really safe that oh only gosh. you can ever get to. I'm like super interested now in Bitcoin and just but like I, the, the weird things about it. I mean, it's nuts. That's crazy. I'm now invested in it, so fuck yeah! I'm mentally invested in it. This is crazy. It's 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 really exciting stuff. I, I think I I'm mean, kind of I more invested in it just because I want to see what happens. Yeah. In, in some ways, like yeah, I would love to get some money, but like I haven't I haven't put a ton in or anything like that. I'm just more. I just really am curious. Like at the end of this year, <clears throat> if it actually is gonna. I can't say the same. I'm, I've put a lot in. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Uh, I am I am I am very very confident. I'm so sorry. That was like the funniest thing ever. You're just like, no, I I'm screwed. I uh, I could not be the more opposite than you. Not financial advice. Not financial advice. You do whatever. I mean, you do whatever you want. Anyway, like since we're talking about it, if this is like this, any of this is interesting to you, definitely go check out the channel. Money for you. Money for you. YouTube. I'll link it yeah. down below. Um, I plan on doing a bunch of videos similar to this. That's awesome. We didn't even I'm plan like just, on talking about this. No, we didn't. I'm, and sorry, I I'm didn't, like genuinely interested in it now. I'm thrilled that you're interested because like I love talking about it, but I didn't no, want to do that again if we didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> even like, even, <laughs> even if you talk about like just the basics, like I wouldn't even know how to buy Bitcoin. I would not know where That's to go. the video I made yesterday. How to do it in like eight minutes. Maybe we have good mental. That's a good time. Like step by step. <laughs> the, it's so easy. Really? Yeah. See, that's something I didn't even know. I feel like most people still don't know. Can we do it right now? No. Oh. You're not buying. He's like, yo, <laughs> let me show you. I'm going to whip out like, my phone me, and do it real quick. <laughs> let me find any excuse possible to buy more Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Buy that's apartment. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. Like, there you go. Uh, yeah. yeah all, if all if your, Bitcoin blows up, maybe, maybe, maybe that apartment. Maybe buy a house. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, maybe you just move right now and put all that extra income into Bitcoin. Who knows? We just go to the leasing office and you're like, y'all, you accept Bitcoin here. <laughs> <laughs> Bet they do. <laughs> Bet they do. I, I think I think within within five to ten years, most places will accept Bitcoin. Yeah, I've seen like I a think. sign outside of like some place and it was like Bitcoin accepted. And I was like, yeah. that's actually what? crazy. I think it's going to become a thing quickly. Yeah. That or Ethereum will be another one that's used as a currency. Oh yeah, that's the other one. I Although you think that. Cardano, Cardano, Ada, Ada, Yo, is it Ada or Ada? Someone clip this. <laughs> it's only dude. At, maybe it's at, it's at thirty-eight it cents off. right now. There's a, there are a ton of like altcoins. They call them alternate. There's a Doge crypto coin. coins. Yeah, dude. Ah, people are don't do that. The Dogecoin guys are nuts. <laughs> they are a cult. I swear to you. That doesn't sound right. It's a meme. It's a meme coin. It's not. It's not. It's, it's not real. No, it's a real thing. Oh my god! And people have made a ton of money or lost a ton of money on it. <laughs> but it's a like it's a me. It's not like this is very different than Bitcoin. Like this is a, a serious thing. <laughs> At least in my, in my opinion, it's a serious thing that could be the future. Dogecoin is it was literally a meme. I think it's it sounds like the Bell Delphine <clears throat> bathwater thing. Like you want to buy it just because it's funny. it le it's legit, but it's also like as a joke. Bell Delphine bathwater. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess I guess so. Did she really sit in the bathtub? I don't know. Honestly, what's the we theory on that? Really I feel like she's got integrity. I think she did it. Yeah, she probably did. Yeah, probably. She isn't afraid. Have you seen her Twitter? She's so iconic. <clears throat> she doesn't care. Oh, absolutely not. Not that you should look Dude, at her Twitter. Speaking of that, she got some flack for that post the other day. Really? You see that stuff? Yeah. 
I didn't see it. It was like uh, her getting kidnapped and, and, and railed in the forest. Oh my God. I just saw people being like, live your best life. <laughs> like I going. mean, people were like pissed. Really? Yeah. Like, like I saw Keemstar like doing like a little news what? thing on it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I was like, I guess I see what you're saying, but. What was the issue? That just like making light it, of kidnapping or something? Uh, probably. It yeah. Was probably like, like kind of. I don't really want to talk about it because it's like super not. Yeah. Um, it's kind of, it's, it's really not PG. It's dark No, topic. it isn't. It, but like. But that's understandable. I don't know. I, I was confused. I, I was like, you know, you have to understand this is who she is. Like, this is obviously not encouraging like yeah. this kind of stuff. Yeah. It's literally like a, a movie. Honestly, and she's the kind of person that when people call her out for something, she's probably just going to do it more. I mean, she, she put a response out. It's like, like a full like, pa- oh, like wow. page response about, you know, she basically compared it. She's like, Did, if this is like saying video games make people more violent. Yeah. And I was like, honestly, that's kind of a good comparison. That's a good point. Uh, it's like, just because like, this is, this is, I don't know. I don't want to get into it. I don't want to get into it. Yeah, let's talk more about Belle Delphine. I don't. Want, I don't want to. I want no. to talk about you. I mean, okay, talk about me. I want to talk Go about ahead. you. Say the wrong thing. <laughs> I dare you. Dang, bro. This is my life. <laughs> moving I feel like we're in moving together. in. By the way, <laughs> do you want to just go to the Q and A or? We do have some Q and A questions. <laughs> Josie's like, oh yeah. Can I run Those? the Q and A? You can if you want to. So you don't see the questions in advance. Listen, um, guys, I prefaced you. This was going to be the shit show, and it is. Yeah. This has been the, like, we've been all over the place. <laughs> it's, From it's Belle funny, Delphine to horoscopes to Bitcoin <laughs> to <Thank you> alcohol. <laughs> like, we've mind had, reading like, each other. Drink. Calm down. I've had, this is my second. Oh, oh man. Yo. Really wow. going for it. Yo. <laughs> really <laughs> getting crazy. in there. Watch out, guys. Okay. Oh, this is from Alpha. We love Alpha. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. No, don't look. Okay. Um, Q&A for I, the podcast. I screenshot this anyways. I know what the question probably <laughs> don't is. Don't look. I'm going to read it to you right now. From your phone. That's not fair. Way. Okay. This is a good question. What's the sketchiest sponsor slash company that tried to reach out to you? Wait, to reach out or worked with? To reach out. Oh. I guess if you worked with a sketchy okay. company. Okay. I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. <laughs> And you got, this is another one of those quick mind things. The, the first thing that comes to mind, I want you to just say it immediately. Okay. Okay. What is the company that's reached out to you the most times via email? Three, two, one, App Nana. Raid Shadow Legends. Oh my God, Raid <laughs> Shadow Legends. <laughs> Have you ever done a, a spat, uh, ad with them? No. No. Dang, bro. They well, probably pay guys, a lot of money. Oh, though. they probably do. Yeah. But the thing is, App, App Nana. I've App seen Nana? that too, though. Oh, you dude, that? it's like a classic. Yeah. It's like, hi, I am. Melanie from App Nana or whatever her name is. It's like a it's like a generic. It's been memed before because it's like a it's like a generic email that everyone gets. What is App Nana? What's the <clears> company? <throat> they, there's a bunch of different versions of it, but like you basically what? download. <laughs> it was like this thing where you download apps and you get oh, Nanas. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. get like reward points, and you can redeem those reward points for gift cards. It's kind of like a marketing thing to download other things, other to, apps. And you get like score points that you can use. That is not you can convert fun. to gift cards. Fun fact though, like I actually did it back in the day, like like eight years ago maybe, and I made bank on it. Did you really? At the time it was bank. It was like like eight hundred dollars. What? Yeah. No. Just in nanas. Like I had so many <laughs> just in freaking nanas. nanas. Dude, because people I don't You're know, collecting like, wait, grandmas. That's what I thought too. I'm like imagining like twenty grandmothers. <laughs> And that's wait, like, nanas? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you thought I meant like old lady No, I mean like bananas. Bananas. Like Ab nanas. Nana. Ab oh nana. My gosh, it's like a but it's like a little wait, banana emoji. Oh my god, you thought I was talking about like grandma no. nanas? Oh Lord. I just didn't know what you were talking about. I had no That's idea hilarious. What was going I'm on. like that visual now is actually hilarious. So you think that's sketchy though? Oh my gosh. I was no, sketchy? it wasn't sketchy. I actually got paid out of it. Okay, you I, I want to tell you this. Here's the ones that I think are sketchy. Have you ever seen those emails from a company or something that's like, hey, Matthew, or hey, JC or whatever, hey mm-hmm. Jordan, or or sometimes it's just like, hey influencer, <laughs> like it just says influencer, hey, like streamer, <laughs> like it's almost like they have it in quotes and they just didn't want to do research to even know who you are, and they're like, we have seen that your videos have been super successful, and it's like you have not watched a single <laughs> one of my videos, and it's like, hey, I want to uh, invite you to uh, this marketing agency where we will make sure that your videos get out to the right people and get out to like the right channels and like basically they're like we want to promote your content but it's like every time i get an email like that it's never like personal at all it's just like oh do you want to say yes to us managing your content even though we didn't even write your name in the email 
And I get so many of those. You know what? Now that you're bringing that up, it's great. You're, you're totally right. And you know how I know that they haven't watched my videos? Because they say I'm doing successful when I'm getting like 2K views a video. And I'm like, yeah, all right. You haven't watched shit because I haven't been doing terrible view-wise. And you're like, your channel's great. It's The videos are amazing. So many views. You're right, though. But what they, you know what they do with that? They, like most of these agencies, they literally want to get all of your info to put you on their roster so they can go and pitch bigger, like big companies and be like, yo, we have X amount of following amongst our thousand creators. And then they never actually give you any sponsors. They never actually bring yeah. them any to you. They, they bring them to your, their biggest guys, but they use all of the numbers that they have under their network Dude. as oh this is how big we are. We're, the, we're like the name brand. Like you should work with us. Bro, that reminds me of something. I, I don't know if I should dive into it. Oh no, you have a story specifically on that. I know exactly that. what you're talking about. Do you know what I'm talking about? Of course. Rebranding. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. What are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? Nothing. What? Uh-oh. I didn't think you were gonna say it on, on we're not streaming, on the podcast, but. I was Do you have like, like a specific company that you're talking about right now? Oh no, yeah. You say yours. Drop them, dude. Okay, so. That was the question, right? Okay, so, no, no, this is different. Th this is just another story I thought of. I'm just like, I, the thing that I hate so much is when a company, like you said, they offer, they're like, oh, this is what we've done for all these people. This is what we do for all these people. And then you're like actually considered like lower tier when you really get involved. So I'm not going to mention this company because I don't, I, I just don't think it's worth it to even mention this company and give any bad press. But I was working with, and a lot of people from my stream know this last summer, not this summer, last summer, I went through this entire process where I was like, I'm going to rebrand my channel. Uh, actually, wait, that was 20. Maybe it was actually before me. It was like 2019. I can't remember when uh, actually, but it was like a, two summers ago, maybe. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm going to rebrand my channel and, and give it this whole new look. You, I used to have this like logo that was really like old school, like cartoony looking kind of like, you know, kind of like every yeah gaming YouTuber. Right. And the logo has always been JC, but I really wanted to like make this new logo that like represented something to me and was just a lot better. So I basically want to do an entire channel rebrand. I want to put money into it. I was like, okay, I've been saving up. I'm going to pay a, like a really, really good company to like really, really get this done. And bro, it was the worst mistake of my like entire, like one of my worst mistakes as a creator was thinking that this company cared about me in any way. It was like, basically I went to this company that does a lot of stuff for a lot of streamers and does a lot of stuff for top tier streamers. So I was like, oh, oh, they do stuff for so-and-so, right? Now they, I want to know the company. They got to do like a really, really good job, right? So like, there's no way like they're going to make something that's kind of like low tier quality. Right. Okay. I want to let you know that I talked to this company like, I swear like in March that year and nothing got done for like the entire summer. Like nothing. It you, was did like, you pay them? Oh yeah. Oh, how, I lost money. How much money. did you pay them? I lost money. Uh, I don't know if I want to disclose how much, but a lot. It was, it was, a, it was, it was like a good, <laughs> uh, it was a good okay. amount of money. So a little bit of work got done, but basically I was like, okay, I have an idea and I, I need you to like, I am not an artist. Right. right. And I was like, I have an idea for something. And some of my current logo has that idea a little bit in it, um, which I think I, I got it. But I was talking to this company for a while and I'm like, I really wanted like a logo that represents, well, I'll just say it. I really want a logo that represents coming back from like the brink, like coming back to life, like reviving, resing, right. any, any sort of feeling. Cause my name is, was backfire. Right. Right. And I also had all these things with like my channel being dead and getting revived a bunch or like revive me. I have this or, or like resing, like I, I love mercy and overwatch. Right. Like there's all these like different like memes on my channel about reviving, like coming back. So I was like, I really want a logo that represents that. And I didn't think it'd be that freaking hard to do. I was like, I just want it to be JC, uh, the letters JC, and I want it to represent like coming back to life, like whether it's a heartbeat symbol in it or a, a wings, like angel wings or something. Like I wanted something like that. And everything I got back from this company, dude, was like, oh my God, like I could have just like went to like, at the time, uh, I was in another relationship, and my girlfriend at the time, sorry, 
but she she could draw better than the company that I was like paying money for. And I was like sending them sketches that my girlfriend was doing. I'm like, can you just do this? That's like, so can you sad. literally just do this? And they would send it back to me. And it's like, bro, I can't, I can't even read the letters JC. Like I can't even read it. Or, or like, oh, this is like really off. Like it just looks really off or really like lower tier. And, and maybe I was crazy. Maybe I was too much of a critic. I don't know. But, and the other thing that happened was every single time that I was like messaging them, it would be like, I wouldn't get a response back for like three weeks. Oh my God. It, it was like, oh, I have this idea. Can you make this for me? It's like, oh yeah, it's going to take a bit. I, I don't get back from them for like two weeks. I get I get something and I'm like, oh, I don't like this. And I send all this feedback. Don't hear anything back for like a week or two. Then I, I want to know the something company. back. And then they take another week or two to Jeez. even give like a, another revisement to it. It would take like a month to get like another example of just an idea. And basically I just at one point was like, this is ridiculous. I am, I am, I, I just almost like stopped responding to them because I was, I was actually getting like upset in messages. Cause I'm like, I just feel like, I feel like if I was a top streamer on Twitch or a yeah. top streamer on YouTube and I know, I know if I would, would be that they would get something out in a freaking week. Like right. I know, right. but because that I like, I'm considering this lower tier in yeah. their mind. And I even had discussions like with them and they're like, they're like, Oh yeah. I mean like, obviously we have like, different artists and different different types of clients and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, dude, you basically just told me that like you don't care putting, about everything. You, you got your interns working on this shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like you definitely Honestly. don't have the top Well, that's like, why I'm really curious to know how much this. you paid because it's like, okay, are we talking two hundred dollars? We're talking a thousand dollars? Like it's not hundreds, I will say that. Is not hundreds. Okay. Then that's bad. It was bad. If it's anything over even I would say anything over even five, six hundred dollars and you're getting that kind of treatment. It was Back. Like it doesn't matter who you are. It, if you're paying proper yeah, money for service. the work to be done, yeah. like of oh, that it, of that nature. The thing and the thing is, you know me. I'm like I'm super easy going with a lot of stuff, right? But I was getting stuff back that was like, I was like, oh, I like say I had wings on it on the logo. It's like no, no, no I I want I want there to be this in the wing. I would get like another revisement, and they'd revise some other stuff, and then the like there would be like four re revisements that I asked for that just wouldn't be there, and they wouldn't even explain like why it's not there. I'd be like. Can you can you do the thing I said four weeks ago? Yeah, and they do it again. I'm like, can you do this, the thing I said two weeks ago, please? Like I I just I keep saying Jeez. the same thing. Like I wouldn't even get like the revisements back exactly how I wanted, it. and it was just. You know, I'm not super picky. Like you have to be somewhat picky because it's your logo. I mean, it represents everything. But I just thought it was crazy because when you made that point, like there's so many like companies and stuff, and they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna treat you like. We're gonna treat you like we treat all of our customers. And I was like, dude, I've never experienced in my life that feeling before where I was like, dude, I am totally not in their priorities at all. Like I'm totally not. And I Damn. just eventually I just said, F it. I'm I'm not responding to them anymore. <laughs> I'm not wasting my time with this. Wasted my entire summer. I kept telling my channel, I was like, guys, rebrand's coming. Rebrand's coming. Didn't happen. I I ended up doing it myself with some people on Fiverr. Bless that website, dude. Dude, Fiverr's actually Bless not bad. Fiverr. If you pay like, yeah, like don't pay $5, like you pay like good money. Yeah. There's some really good artists in that, oh, yeah. in that and, website. And what I did is I, I went to multiple different Fiverr artists and I was like, okay, this guy knows how to do really good like like uh, symmetrical drawings. Or this right. guy knows how to really do like something that looks uh, more sketch. Like, cause I my logo right now is kind of like, uh, it, it looks, Kind like of like, handwritten. Yeah, it's handwritten. Uh, it doesn't. It's not like a 3D logo. It's a handwritten 2D logo, which is like, I, I really yeah. wanted that style. And I went to like multiple artists to get like, I almost like combined different work from like artists on Fiverr and then did some work myself. And I found something, I did like a halo above my thing and I, I loved it. Like I, I, I'm actually prouder of my logo that I did it with Fiverr and myself. And yourself. Rather than this company I paid a lot of money for. Did you ever get the money back from that company? No. <laughs> So you never got anything from them and you paid them a bunch of money. Uh, I think they might've given me like a discount or something at some point. Cause I was mad, but I still, lost I feel like I know what you're talking about, but <laughs> I don't know the name of the company, but I, I feel like I actually know what it is. Yeah. Well, you, you have well, to tell me later, well, but what, what I will say is the, it's also hard because streaming and all that is still relatively new. So there's a lot of companies that are like trying to still like, they're like, Hey, 
we want to help people become better streamers. We want to help like graphics out and all that kind of stuff. But it was very clear they're like, they got way too many. They shouldn't have that many clients if they can't prioritize like everybody. Right. Um, and, and it was just a really weird thing. I won't say the company's name cause I, I I'm not, I, I don't, well, wanna, I don't want to diss anybody. That story that. absolutely crushes anything that that's I my sketchy. That's my sketchy thing. I mean, that is bad. And they didn't come up to me. I came up to them. So it's not a sketchy company that reached out to me. I was right. like, dude, I was like, I want to go. That's almost company. worse though. When you have that bad of an experience when you're paying serious money like that. Um, that's just, that's bad. I'm sorry yeah, about that. No, it's all good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with my logo now. Dude, you got the good logo. <laughs> Fi- honestly, dude, rant. Fiverr as a, as a business like model works because each of the individual creators, like dude. to get more work, they need to have good ratings. Yeah. And so if they slight anyone, they're like yeah. toast. Right. Also, so, for those of you listening, Fiverr is a website. We're talking about Fiverr. It's a website where basically you can have, anybody can go on Fiverr and have a gig, basically. They're called gigs. And they, it's called Fiverr because they're relatively cheap. Um, yeah. And so, like, say you want a guy. It's like if you want to go to a site to find very specific mm-hmm. gigs to help you out with something. Like, there's people on Fiverr that are like Fortnite coaches. They're like, yeah, <laughs> give me twenty five bucks. I'll play like three matches with you in Fortnite and help you out and help out your game. It's and an interesting do. site. It's an interesting there's, site. There's also, hey, I I read uh, I read something and I uh, and I wear clothes that make me look like Jesus. And I, and I, I love read this. Him. You know who I'm talking uh, about? Of course. And I think he's on Fiverr. He was they, on PewDiePie's video. I love him. Stuff all the time. Uh, all, there's big man Tyrone. He was really big in like meme culture yes. a couple years ago. Yep. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. He would, yeah. he would just like read off anything. Like that was Fiverr. So but, but there's a lot of like really good artists where they're like, hey, do you need handwritten logos or drawings? Yeah. It's like very specific things. Hell yeah, I, got, I do. What's up, man? Yeah. And he's got, like, yo, I got you, brother. <laughs> And you get it done. I actually got my um my sub emo. I meant my sub like animation Emotes. on Fiverr. Yeah, I, I love it. I think it's. I mean, it's 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 a two D animation. And it's pretty simple, but like I love it. It's mm-hmm. awesome. So yeah, <clears throat> Fiverr's great, Fiverr, dude. Better well, that was a, a lot of a major company. Yeah, <laughs> somewhere. I guess so. Depending who you go with. Yeah. That was a great answer for the sketchy um yeah sketchy company. One of the best way to go about. Yeah, that. sorry, I was just enraged by that. Um, <laughs> a couple. That's a good story like, though. A year ago or so. So how much did you pay? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> how, much, how much do you have in Bitcoin? Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me just to make me say it. Nah, nah, I can't tell you. That That's that's a different number. <laughs> 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 I promise you it's more than you paid for your logo. Are you sure about oh, that? <laughs> oh, without a doubt. <laughs> Is it more than you paid for your house? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was no. trying to joke. <laughs> the answer there is not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Jess is just like I want to die. Jess is, doesn't even care, bro. She's playing twenty forty eight. She's not gonna get twenty forty eight. Oh, what is that? maybe she get it. What's you know the tile game. If you get twenty forty eight, twenty forty eight. No. Did you even have? Oh, uh, we're gonna phone have to play. We're gonna have to play after this. A mobile phone right now. Okay, here's 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 the topic I have. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're probably getting close to the end of the podcast. Yes. Is this the last one or should? Ah, uh, whatever you want. It's um, ten thirty seven. All right, let's let's do one more one more good one that you like. Okay, you I, I like I like this last one. Okay, you've never seen this question okay, before. I, obviously, she's so like obsessive about having the phone and not letting you see it. It's okay. I'm sorry. I hosted something this morning, so I'm just in the mindset right now. Dude, oh, I love it. You know what she did recently? What? She did a whole panel with uh, women from The Walking Dead. That was what the panel was called, yeah. and like actually like interviewed a lot of people from The Walking Dead. Like just low key. I died. In my setup. Just for <laughs> fun? Yeah, they were like looking for someone to do it. And I was like, last night, I was like, I want to do this. How did you get in like in, in the talks for that? Mutual friends. It had nothing to who's do with- Who's they were looking for someone to do this? It had nothing to do with 100 Thieves or me. Like she actually just low key just got well, Who's they? They, I, so I have a mutual friend with someone who does like, he runs this show where it's like someone in Walking Dead kind of does this like fan expo thing. Okay. And a panel they were having today was Women of the Walking Dead, but they wanted someone to like moderate, you know, like, you know, like. They okay. wanted someone with like a following and I was like, I don't really have that, but like, I can like, I know a lot about the show and I love the show. Right. And he was like, yeah, you're in. It's at noon tomorrow. Like be ready. And I was like, oh my gosh. And so he let me do it on his setup and everything. It was great. It was really That's fun. Sick. I switched the lens back to like a, a more zoomed in lens. Nice. Very like 2015 JC backfire. Yeah, it was like old school. Alabama. But, but you can still see the fireplace in the background yeah. and stuff on the TV. Someone That's came awesome. into the chat and was like, that setup looks familiar. Nice. <laughs> But it was great. So I'm still in that so mindset of like, oh she had a really gosh. good day. All right. Well, rock it. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Question. 
Will VR, virtual reality, will VR have a large impact on gaming as a whole? In the future. <clears throat> no. That's look, not part of the question. Look, we can make the question whatever we want to but be. But that's not the question. I'm sorry. We can twist their words in this, any way that we like. This is from Waffles, by the this way. This is from at Mr. Battlefront on Twitter. Uh, I thought you said Rob, Rob, Mr. Rob it's Waffles. Mr. Rob Waffles. Like, oh, Milo's actually getting on the uh, convo. Okay. okay, so how do you feel about virtual reality? Do you think, when do you, all right, here's my question to you. Going off this, when do you think games will just be virtual reality games? No. Do you think it'll ever just get to that point? Is this point? strictly gaming or is it like, it says other gaming. potential. Let's do other potential. Let's let's have a final topic about that. We can I mean, I, I think the that. obvious answer, to me anyway, the, the obvious answer, like virtual reality has got way more potential in other things besides games. Only fans. <laughs> okay. I mean, you, you know what? And, and if you're talking strictly money, you are right. You are so, you are so right. I mean, What's that one you're not gonna even, Joe. You're not gonna even need a girlfriend That's not anymore. fans, though. But it's basically people watch that for the I mean, same intention. Not use virtual reality. Okay, I don't. I, so do you use she brings she brings a good point. Virtual reality has been around in gaming for years, dude. I think it's True. on the app. and it still hasn't it's caught up. Out. I no, it's it's I don't. I disagree with that. I, it's not. It's not the app. It's like down. The problem is like the problem is it still hasn't hit the point where enough people can get involved in it yet. Like it's it's still too. It's not complicated anymore. But I That's think people true. think it's still too complicated and it's expensive still. Yeah. Relatively, it's expensive still. Yeah. If it's like a hundred, hundred bucks or like, you know, to get one or something. Right. Well, I mean, think about like a console, right? If it's a console is a couple hundred dollars, that's a, at a point where people can afford, like people, mm -hmm. the masses are yeah. willing to afford it. And also there's not too many games that are like, oh, I'm going to play this for I hours I think that's a bigger thing, now. dude. Yeah. It's like, even I don't own virtual reality. I've never bought one because I have no interest. Be yeah. safe. Because that's, I knew you have to safe. really be like, the game's got to be so much better in virtual reality than the, than the like just the core looking at a screen yeah. that it's got to be worth it yeah and then you're paying hundreds of dollars on top of the regular console mm -hmm. like that has to be the payoff i think what, what's gonna be really cool <clears throat> is when virtual reality gets to a point where it's like okay we have technology that just we send out like a camera somewhere in the world and then you can just plop yourself there virtually right like yeah. like oh, elon man. right all right, he gets us to Mars. Yeah. Could we have like technology that he like plants on Mars that allows us to virtually roam around Mars ourselves? Now, something like that is, is like 100%. so cool. If to we me. get to Mars and we don't have that technology by the time we get to Mars, what are we doing? We're, we're doing something wrong. <laughs> we're doing something really wrong. Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah, I don't know how we made it to place. Mars if we couldn't <laughs> figure out the other part first. Yeah. yeah. But I, I think that kind of stuff is like where it might start. It, it, more is, is going down that route, like more ways to like experience yeah. some really cool things. Yeah. But I, the thing that they got to figure out, here's what they got to figure out, Matt. Right now they have the movement of like the head, right? Like your head moving around. Mm -hmm. But we need to have like the movement of how do you walk in a virtual reality game? Like how do you walk where it actually feels like real? Because like any game... You maybe you have like full body tracking, mm -hmm. but you still have to walk in place, and that doesn't feel natural. No, no, not anymore. They have, they have. You've never been to like a virtual reality like arena. What do you mean? How do you walk? You just walk like normal, but there's there's so many cameras yeah, no, no, tracking no, no. you that it's just not like real. It's not like feasible for just but, anyone to do yet. But I mean, like, I mean, like you're in your room and you want to play a virtual reality game. Yeah, there's no way to walk where it feels. Like you're either walking with an analog stick from a controller in your hand as you're looking around. That's like what I do with my Oculus. But you don't have a, like there's just no way, there's no way to walk where it feels like comfortable. Like have you got, have you choose to use the new one yet? The newest one? No, I haven't. I have okay. one with wires. You can, you can walk. But, like, but like I, in, I've tried in, the one that's the like, it's like a standalone where you don't need any wires, you yeah. don't need anything. It's just on your face. But I'm saying like, a, it, lot of, a lot of games are like, oh, they give you a room so you can walk around the room. But I want I want a game where it's like that mountain in the distance. I want to run to that. But I can only run so far because I'm in this one little box in my room. And then I have to like teleport a little bit to walk a little bit more in my box. Yeah. Like we need a, like we need like the treadmill on the ground <laughs> that like somehow, I don't know, makes it where you don't fall yeah. over or something as you're walking different ways. I don't know how it would work. Plot twist, it's exercise. Or, <laughs> I think it's, I think we're still yeah. like, hey, you ever seen Black Mirror? Oh yeah. gosh. I you can't. seen Black Mirror? Yeah. Oh. I, that's like, that's the virtual reality that I see. Do you see point. more augmented reality? 
I think I like think the, the idea of having like these big than... bulky things on your face and like spatial awareness cameras and yeah. you know sensors in there that kind of determine where you are spatially. Yeah, that's like that's still so archaic. I think maybe. it's it, it's going to get way better than that. Do you think maybe before it gets adopted fully? So one of the first animes I ever watched was Sword Art Online. People probably hate that anime. I like it. Okay, everybody. But that whole anime's premise is they sit back in their room in a bed. And they plug in this thing. I forgot what it's called. Like Avatar? Like Ready Player One? Basically. Yeah, yeah, Ready Player One's the same way. They put it on, and it's like the virtual reality, how they control, it's because their mind is teleporting there. That's scary, though. (laughs) Maybe Neuralink. There you go. Was it Neuralink? Neuralink. Yeah, I mean, (laughs) I don't think, I think that's a way off. But but I'm saying maybe that's where it goes. It's like, that's, I think that'll be more, like like, that'll be when virtual reality becomes truly virtual reality. I think that's where it's going to be. It's it's not going to be the, I'm walking around with this headset on. That's what it's I'm saying. Like yeah. the way I, we can only conceptualize avatar chamber. I don't like that at all. You can only conceptualize what we know right now, and the way we have it right now is not it. Do you? It okay. hasn't taken off. Oh, it's yeah. been around for long enough that it hasn't taken it's off. That you, you got to be like, amazing. all right, Beat Saber is amazing. It is, but I haven't sure. even bought one yet, and I'm like, I'm as I'm. You know, I've been games for a while. Do you think? Okay, we should have a podcast about. Is it Neuralink? Neuralink? Neuralink. Neuro. Neuralink. Neuralink. N e u r a link. Neuralink. Neuralink. Okay. Oh, Neura. So, do you think? Okay. Question. Do you think it's possible for the human mind to transport to something else, like <laughs> through? No, seriously. This is like so much sci-fi does this. Do you realize like how loaded of a question this I, is? I Matt's just want to know. <laughs> I want. Yeah, to I'll know. just I'll just answer it. No worries. I got it. Do you do you think yes. with Neuralink <laughs> we will be able to like kind of put ourselves in a stasis and experience some other thing happening, like at some other world? That's essentially what we're talking about. Is not that is way off. Like do you think, way do you think far it's away. Possible. Oh yeah. There it is. Oh yeah. Okay, Elon, <laughs> take it down a notch, dude. I mean, come on. <laughs> You think so? I think, Let's dude, go. I think people are sleeping on how quick technology advances. How do you do it? How do you even control that? I don't know. That, I don't think it's going to happen in our maybe, lifetime. Maybe it's, it's, I, think yeah, I, I don't it's think it's going to happen that. in our lifetime. It's got to be like a chip in your head Mm-mm. that tells your brain to think of something. That's what it has I to be. I don't think this will happen in our lifetime. Neuralink as a concept, like what they're trying to do with it, I think will happen in our lifetime for sure. <laughs> but it's it's way she different. Never it's not nearly as complex as that. Yeah, someone with anxiety would love that. <laughs> hey, maybe it takes you to a place with a bunch of flowers and a bunch of. I don't know. No. Although this when you like think about it, like taking over maybe, the planet. Okay, you love Disney. What if you could be transported to literally any Disney? But I would have a panic attack knowing that I'm not actually at Disney. It's like having like a lucid dream. You're just like I like I'm trapped in this world. But you're not like, trapped because you know that Elon's got your back, basically. <laughs> Elon's yeah, got okay. everyone's back. But you're not trapped because you know that the chip would be made to do, like it's made to do that thing. Maybe it would mess up though. And you go, you, you just die. Yeah, your consciousness is lost. <gasps> that's a cool TV show. <laughs> I'm just saying. Sorry, that sounded cool. I'm just I, saying. This I, is some I, cool think, stuff. I get scared of this I think stuff. we won't get to see that day, but it will happen. <laughs> Maybe you should invent it. I could be wrong. I mean, <laughs> With it could be money. wrong. <laughs> it really depends. Coin. Dude, here's the, other, here's the other thing you got to think about. How long are we going to live? You and me. Oh my <laughs> God. This podcast started with horoscopes. And no, no. This is not like a deep. This is this should not be that deep. Like it's like, just give me a number. Yo, when are you? <laughs> you think 100? 80. Or you think like 80? You think 150? Like what do you think? 150. Hear me out. <laughs> We're 20 years old, right? Just 25, we'll just say. Just, just round yeah, it out. Round it out. You okay? guys are definitely 20 years old. We're 25. Old. Dude, this is like the best podcast, I feel like. This, we, we've had so Maybe many it is. I, I feel like the podcast What's is starting show? now. Like, this is where it's getting good. Yeah. And we want to end it, but it's getting good now. <laughs> just to say we live for another 70 years. That's that's fair. No, nah, that's probably not fair. Let's just call it, we'll call it 60, 60 years. Damn, bro. Okay, so what? We get to, we get to 85? <laughs> we get to 85. That's like a normal, like, that's the, probably the average U.S. No, Help. average is like 75. All right, let's just say we're doing better than the average because we're we're fortunate people. We're we're healthy. We have you know we're blessed. Let's just say we get to that far. Do you not think at that point health like healthcare and technology no, be, is going be. to be significantly better than it is now? It should be. So you don't think it's going to increase our life at least a fifteen bit, years? A little bit. I think it will a little bit. So you think we'll make it to hundred? But also, I feel like there's so many things on our planet that are damaging us right now, like pollution. True. True. Also. 
a lot of foods. I mean, here, here's the other thing. True, but the average the average like lifespan has gone up, not down. That is true. True, but I will say this: the way the world has been, especially with COVID, does not help me feel better. Of, it, it does not make me feel better about our our future. Our future <laughs> in terms of in a, like just the way we've responded to COVID has been dumb, like dumb in my opinion. Don't want to get super like yeah. or anything, but it's just. It makes me like, okay, this was something that I think we could have really, really tried to like, like prevent a lot more than yeah. we did. Yeah. And we didn't. And so it, it makes me go, are we actually that, are we actually getting smarter? Like what, what's, you know, I guess we are, but maybe just people are like rebellious. I don't know. But I think you have to make mistakes to learn. Maybe. I think, I think, I mean, I'm just a positive person, but I think what happened is actually a good thing. Because we realized, yeah. shit, we weren't prepared for this. Yeah, yeah maybe this is going to happen again, happened. and we need to know better next time. Because yeah. if we if it came if if this was like super deadly disease, like an Ebola type deadliness, and transmitted this much, we'd, we'd be, be screwed. Bad. Yeah, we'd all be done. Yeah, we'd be bad. We'd be toast. Yeah, but fortunately, we got you know it's I mean it's bad. I mean, the, the Don't get me wrong, it's bad. Deaths, it's course, bad, but, but this isn't going to make the human race extinct. Right. Right. Like we have it. We're going to have another chance to like when, when something worse comes along, because it will, mm-hmm. we're going to be hopefully better prepared than this time. That's what, what if we point. aren't? What if someone's that's, just like, it's never going to happen again? You know, that's scary. Too. Uh, you'd be just stupid to not think this is not going to happen again. Some way. I mean, I never thought this would happen. I don't think anyone saw it coming, but like ever again. Now that, now that you yeah. know what's happened, let's like, okay, well, if something like this similar happens again, we need to have we're going to take it more seriously next time. Yeah. Regardless of how important, like how that's bad true. it is or not. That's mm-hmm. true. I'd hope. I could be totally wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I could be wrong that and that would be sad, optimism. but I would hope that we would learn from our mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. So so you, I, I I guess I guess I see where you're coming from. I, I do agree. I think I, I think I think you and I are making a past a hundred. Really? Oh yeah. No, Your Bitcoin will save you. What? I mean what? I'm not gonna die. You jinxed it. <laughs> She's telling me I'm gonna die because I jinxed my. Then I'm gonna. I, dude, you gotta be optimistic. Here, Scorpios, here's, am I here's right? what I think too. I dude, think, we're gonna just we're gonna be pumped. I think. I, <laughs> I was gonna say something. I stopped. I just what? no. We're gonna. We're I, good. Nothing. <laughs> I want to know now. I'm I'm two drinks in and I'm feeling like a little bit loose on the words. I'll tell you how much he spent on his logo. The, what? <laughs> I, here's what, let me say this before anything else happens here. Okay. I think also <laughs> towards the future, we're going to have a lot more like almost cyberpunk stuff. I mean, cyberpunk is cyberpunk 2077. Let's right? hope the glitches aren't part of Let's it. Let's hope there's no glitches. But what <laughs> I'm saying is- posing naked in the we're, car. We're, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that was savage. What the fuck is this episode? We're, it happened. We're going to have, I believe, a way more uh, tech- advancements to our, our probably our bodies than we think and there's gonna be people who refuse oh, yeah. it for sure oh, yeah and maybe there's gonna be that like dilemma right but we see it all the time like in the future like i think there's gonna be a lot more like hey your lung is not working do you want a you know an artificial lung an yeah. artificial lung right yeah. and i think do we have that i think there's I starting like to do have i'm sure stuff. there's already some situations but like, like that. but with more and more things i think we'll see that more and more especially with how like ro- yeah. robots are advancing and all that kind of stuff so i think i think naturally <clears throat> maybe not naturally but naturally with technology advancements we're definitely probably going to be able to live longer because if you have an issue you might be able to re- replace it or fix it with tech maybe that's what i i see that i agree happening. dude yeah. you gotta watch uh have you ever tr- you ever heard like ray curl as well talk about the singularity Dude, you told me we should talk about this. We're not talking about this this time. We can't. No, we're already getting into it. But like, we should. Now that I think about it, we have to at some point. We got to. Because this stuff is nuts. Because dude, scared. technology evolves exponentially. You know what singularity is. Uh-uh. We're not doing this right now. Don't do it. Don't do it. just leave it like that. You can't. Just, you can't just. You can't ever no, ask no, no, and, not, it and not answer Explain it. Explain it. And- we're gonna talk about this another time. This will be maybe next week if we don't have, if we don't have another uh, great. I think you need episode. a whole episode of that. We oh do. We do because it's. We're already kind of getting into it right now. It's we like, really are. It's kind of like a. Uh, com- it's you know. You ever seen Terminator? Oh my gosh! It's the point at which technology becomes more advanced than humans. It grows like it, it becomes more evolved than humans. Yes. Like it grows faster than we do. Leave it there. Thank you guys so much for coming out to the podcast. And that and they po- take over the planet and they no 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 not necessarily. I mean, possibly. Thank you guys so much. Not necessarily. <laughs> it's not necessarily going to happen, but it's possible. <laughs> That's coming quicker than you think. 
Thank you guys so much for coming to the Irrelevant <laughs> Podcast. This was irrelevant, by the way. Thank you so much yeah, for coming out. Yeah, this is out. totally not relevant conversation Dude, this is a thing. Leave your topics down below in the video section or on Twitter. Tweet us at Twitter. Bro, your you topic questions. Tweet you us at Twitter. Tweet us at Twitter. Twitter <laughs> us. Do whatever you want to do. Twitter please, us. please, please. We got to wrap up this Twitter podcast right us. now. We're going to be here for another hour. So thank you guys so much. Give us a rating. On what? Apple Podcasts. Yeah. Whatever no, you rate do. us five star on Apple Podcasts. Seriously, it helps out. Can we get to 500 ratings? That'd be great. I also, mean, 500. Wait, that's way too many. Maybe 100. Also, huge shout out. Let me just say this before we end it here. Huge shout out to the Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, go ahead. I'm just kidding. What is going Terminator. on? Terminator. going to happen? <laughs> I'm scared now. Huge shout out to the fact that we, uh, you guys, supported the podcast so much that we're at 5,000, I believe, 200 yes. subs. Like yes. We're, we're at 5,000 last time, and we, we already are. gained 200 more. Yes, we did. That's amazing. Since the last podcast. So I appreciate it so much, guys. Me and Matt both appreciate it. And M. And Jess. I just inputted myself about astrology, and we're talking about existential crises now. So, Aren't, is, Isn't life great? And life is great. It's Love just not a, a crisis. Pandemic. It's a good thing. Yeah, but these thoughts are it, kind of it can be. It can be a good thing. We'll, we'll save it for another time. All right, we're saving the next one. We're saving for Thank you guys time. so much for coming out. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next That's one. Nightmares. Take care, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> Just make sure if you get a Neuralink implanted that you're, uh, you know, you're not a robot or anything. Sword like Art Online is a good anime. That is all. <laughs>